it's my Mars 4248 here and today in this video I'll be showing you some um, how to use um, a G to 3D ok so extend you put a 2 um, there for some reason ok so um, this, some of this stuff will work on other um, 3D rendering programs for the buttons and things will be in different places ok so first of all um, to add something you have to click this arrow here and you need to click um, on one of these ok so um, this here is the height ok so um, put it to 0 0.5 and this thing will be um, over the kind of ground stuff ok so um, now um, to make this larger you have to click this icon here and you have to um, drag this here You can also um, make it more accurate here. So if I put five here, and you just can see it isn't touching the ground. But if I put half of that, zero point twenty-five, then it'll touch the ground. Okay. So to um, actually edit this object, what you have to do is you have to double-click this box icon here. For other objects, will be different things. So okay. So click this icon, um, so you can select things. But first of all, we have to actually split it. We can do more with it. So you have to right click and go to linear subdivide and do this um, several times. If you want, you can just select something. Instead of holding shift and clicking on each thing, you can right click, go to selection, and group select. Okay, so you see um, if we've got something selected and we do linear subdivide, it will only divide um, what we selected. Ok, so um, to make it look um, a bit better, uh, what you can do is you can um, go here um, and add one of these, um, I think subdivision might be a good one, and then you can drag it into the box, so as you can see it gives it this nice effect, but it's best to um, edit it and stuff um, first though. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so um, if we go back into edit mode, uh, you can um, go to selection, um, I think it's ring select, and then um, when you select something, you'll select, um, you should um, select a ring around it, but as you can see, um, because I've got um, the wrong thing sub subdivided, it won't work. Ok, so um, if I do um, ring select again, then you can see that it selects it, um, all the way around it. So I press some um, backspace, and you'll see that um, inside, uh, there isn't um, anything inside there. So to close it, um, we we'll have to use group select. And then we click this tool here to move um, this object. So this is a plane, so of course um, you won't be able to make it much larger. Okay, so um, for example if you want um, to make like a house or something with this, what you have to do is go to selection and area select actually sorry about that, some um, selection and group select we um, need to select um, a group so um, what we need to do is um, click reduce selection and let's do this several times ok so um, now if we um, delete that and um, do the same here ok 
is, as you can see, it doesn't work on some things. Okay, so to um, unselect something, you have to press Control and click. Um, but as you can see, that doesn't work there. Actually, sorry about that. Um, you need to click this first. Okay, now what we can do is we can delete this and we can then um, go to the camera and um, select the top and this is useful because we could go to selection area and we can select an area so you can see this doesn't work so well but I think you need to select um, over half of something Okay, so as you can see, if I um, go back to the camera, then I've got this um, nice kind of fork. Okay, so if you want um, to put um, a plane over here, so um, you can't see inside that this, what you need to do is you need to um, create and make it make this a group. Then once you've got the group selected, um, we need to create a new plane. And we need to click this here so we can rotate it. And we can drag this here to make to make um, this a bit longer. Okay, so as you can see, we've um, now got kind of wall in this. So we just put some subdivide in this. And um, of course, I need to drag it on the group. Actually, I think I think that won't work. You need to put in it, all of the things. But as you can see, it's um, got this nice effect here. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please leave a comment on this video. Um, please subscribe and check out my other videos and tutorials. And so I'll make a few G to 3D tutorials today.